ready. We are former boxer, promoter, journalist, knowledge, the man himself from Sky Sports, Spencer Ferran. Uh, you've come to see your friend Amir Khan face to face with Canelo. Why are you trying to put me in trouble? I like Canelo as well. Who's this brother trying to put me in trouble? Listen, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. let's look at this fight. It's been promoted as speed against power. What are your thoughts about it? It, it is speed against power, and we have to look historically. Robert Diaz uh, is the matchmaker for um, Golden Boy. And we have to look, Mexican fighters don't handle speed right. Forget about weight, we have to look through history. When we look through history, and you look through history, the major ones that stand out in my mindset was what? I think that was March 17th, 1990. We had Julio Cesar Chavez, who, who was the, the WBC super, super, super lightweight champion, versus Merjik Taylor, who's the IVF champion and when they fought he didn't know how to handle the speed of Virgil Taylor. Even though he stopped him in the last two minutes very controversially, he didn't know how to handle speed. Go back, Manny Pacquiao versus Antonio Marco Barrera, who's this fantastic fighter, all time great, but they can't handle speed too well. Every time Emin Khan's been knocked down, he's not been knocked down because his chin is knocked down because he has a lack of concentration. Now he knows in this fight that he cannot have no lack of concentration. You know why? Because if he does have a lack of concentration, he's gonna get hurt. Right, so if, he's, if Amir Khan is on it, 100% on it, he can actually win this fight. And when people are talking about the weight factor, oh, but he's a, he's, a, he's a guy who stepped up and he's fighting the middleweight. Canelo is not authentically a, 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 he's a big line middleweight. You wouldn't say that he's a, actually a middleweight. He just boxed the other day and he boxed when he beat, um, when he beat Koto, Koto. So that, was that, that was that catch win. So, and he even had to grind down Koto in the last yeah, four rounds. In the, in the last, but remember, Koto, no, no disrespect, Koto's seen better days. But here we're dealing with somebody who's young, who's fresh, who's fast, who's got lateral and dexterity in his, punch, in his punches. And there is no fighter on the planet right now who is faster than Amir Khan. Name you one, one other fighter who's faster than Amir Khan. Anyway, people like, will say Pacquiao. Pacquiao's, come on man, Pacquiao's no, shot. Man. What, what, did you see Pacquiao versus Flamengo? It looked like Pacquiao was <laughs> punching through cement. Come on, man. No, no, no. Pacquiao's not fast. Listen, Amit Khan is the fastest combination puncher in the world. Floyd Mayweather is retired now. Floyd Mayweather is the fastest single shot puncher. If you think about single shots, like bah, one shot, that's Floyd Mayweather. But if you look in clusters, nobody's faster than Amit Khan. If Amit Khan is on the right game, trust me, people think I'm, oh, no, I'm just saying this because I'm this Muslim thing. No, 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 I'm being real. He, he could, thank you very much. You know what I mean? And then Kanko calls an upset. I'm telling you this now. You have to look at this. No, he ain't going to knock him out. He, he could cause an upset on points. If he hits and hops it, I have seen on many numerous occasions where Canelo has been, Austin Trout gave Canelo trouble. You know what I mean? Right? Right, so you look on the guys who give him trouble. Why? Because they've got speed and lateral movement. And it, I'm telling you now, Ame Khan's blueprint to winning this fight is actually watching Merjik Taylor 1990 versus Julio Cesar Chavez. Watch that fight, no laps of concentration, and he can cause an upset. What about Mayweather and Canelo? What do you think? No, no, watches no, that fight no, 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 you ain't gonna learn that from that. Mayweather's a genius. Now, no, no, he's not saying that Amir Khan's not a genius. I'm saying Mayweather is on another frequency. Mayweather's levels of frequency where his mind's at right now, Mayweather's somewhere in the stratosphere. I don't know where he's, he's up there, he's built his spaceship, he's up there. Those guys ain't on that level yet. Mayweather, Mayweather, they don't, they're not on. Well, forget, don't, 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 don't upset me. All right, today. what about the Canelo camp then deciding to take on Amir Khan? Was that? It's a money fight. You know, it's, number one is this: it's a money fight where, you know what? In in America, Amir Khan is greatly received. Why is he greatly received? Because a lot of people think he's actually Mexican. Do you know that? Because he's got that. that seriously, they think. Seriously, if you go to right now, they think you're, they would think you're on a Mexican cab driver. I swear, you know this guy here. Put the camera on him. He looks like a Mexican cab driver. He does. He does. Right. So I'm saying to you, you know what I mean, I'm, it's better than Uber. Better than Uber. Right. So I'm saying to you that he's well received out there. He's got a good fans. And trust me, loads of you guys out here, you go out to see me. Would you travel to see the fight? I would go travel to see the fight if if they let me in America. But I'm trying to say to you, <laughs> right? So, so I'm saying, so I'm saying like. On the general consensus of this fight, it's a good fight. Trust me, it's a good fight. It's a great fight. And not only that, but it's also Amir Khan sticking his fingers up at the establishment of British boxing. Saying like, Eddie Hearn, you know what? Don't try to bully me to take the Kelvin fight. Eddie Hearn's you know what? Right, I'm, 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 I'm going to get back 14, 15 million for this fight. You know what I mean? So I've got a proxy for that. Very smart moving, and God forbid, if Amir Khan loses, 
Let's say, right, you lost to a bigger, stronger, tougher man. But we revert back to history. When we look at history, 1951, February, February 14th, Sugar Ray Robinson moves up from, from welterweight 147 and fights Jake Lamar, right? Who was the middleweight champion who's 165. It was a big 165 because Jake Lamar in the amateurs was a light heavyweight. Now, when they boxed, Sugar Ray Robinson didn't come in at the 160 limit. Sugar Ray <laughs> Robinson came in around about, about 154, 155. This is what Amir Khan's coming, so therefore he's going to maintain his hand speed and, and God bless him, man. Go for it, man. He should be props to take off, mate. The knowledge himself told the toe on Sky Sports. Damn, 1950s. 